Hello, it's Ryan French here from BMF Blackheath in Shoreditch. So today I'm going to take you through the stance, the guard, the jab and the cross. What you need to do is you need to stand with your feet shoulder width apart and with your dominant side, so whatever, whatever side you're dominant with, you'll take a step to the rear with that foot. So you want you to imagine that your feet are on tram lines and you're going to take a step to the rear. So for me, it's my right hand side. And when you take a step backwards, you don't want to take a step too far backwards, all right? Around a half pace, in between a half pace and a three quarter pace backwards, a step backwards rather. So once you've done that, you want to imagine when you're, well, like I said, that your feet are on tram lines and you take a step backwards, we're going to do is rock to the sides on the heels. And what you're trying to achieve here is a little bit of daylight between the front heel, uh, the front toe rather, and the back heel. Now the hands are going to lead to the side and you're going to bring your hands up to the chin. Slight bend in those knees. And notice this leading shoulder, so for me it's my left hand, your left hand it obviously be your right shoulder, you're going to just turn that shoulder towards your target, my target being the camera here, okay, so I'm just covering off towards the target here. And now you can imagine you've got glue on his back hand and it's stuck to the chin, or stuck to the cheek rather, and in your front hand what you're going to do is use, your, use the, the same eye to look down the knuckles of your leading hand, all right? So once again, for me, it's my left eye and my left knuckle. So this is what I'm gonna line up my target with. That's like the barrel of my weapon. That's how I line up my target. And I want you to imagine you've got a waistcoat on, you're gonna tuck your elbows into your waistcoat pocket, and you can just raise that heel, that back heel off the floor, like so. So this back, so this allows you to, to move around if you need to, okay? And now we need to throw the jab, okay? The jab is your leading hand. So for me, it's my left hand. And notice, as I throw my jab out, what I'm doing is my palm is facing down to the floor, so I'm twisting my hand whilst my hand is in flight. And as my fist strikes my target, I'm trying to get evenly distributed force across those knuckles by having flat knuckles, like so. That's here. This elbow stays nice and tight. And now, to add a little bit more power into that shot, rotate those hips as you throw the shot, like so. Because boxing is all about a transfer of body weight from the floor up to the punch. So there's two ways in which you can do this. One is just to rock the hips, slightly twisting that knee to the side. The other one is to twist that toe. It's up to you which one you want. It's just about finding the one that's comfortable for you, okay? That's here, this is the movement here. What you're trying to make sure you do is the hand travels back faster than it goes out. So if you imagine every time you jab, your defense is compromised on this side. So you need to make sure the hand travels back faster than it goes out. Doing that little twist there, giving yourself a little bit more range and a bit more power on that jab. So that's the jab. Now we're gonna throw the cross, which is your rear hand, okay? So if you imagine, you throw that jab out, if I don't have any lower body movement, any twist of my hips, I'm gonna miss my target. My back hand isn't gonna hit. So what I need to do is I need to pivot onto the ball of my rear toe, twist my hips forwards, and that brings me into range. And that also gives you a little bit more power. Well, that is where you get your power, is from that twist movement of the lower body. Because in boxing, the power comes from the legs. So that's this movement here. So you're twisting those hips, moving onto the ball of that right toe. It's there. Once again, it travels back faster and it goes out. Now we're gonna put both those punches together into a one-two, okay? It's really important on a one-two, that's a fluid movement. So we're looking for this movement pattern. Bump, bump, one after the other. So try to avoid going bump, stop, bump, like that. So you want it to be a fluid movement. Don't worry about if it ain't too fast at the start. That's not what we're looking for. Just looking for a fluid movement pattern, one after the other. Bump, 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 bump. And that's the stance, the guard, the jab, and the cross. Enjoy.